Hi, Sue at Steampunk Sham and welcome to my channel. If you like the content, please like and subscribe, it all helps. Uh, today, it feels like springs in the air. There is hope, there is joy, there is a lot going on here. Uh, the weather's still a bit nippy, but you know, we can get over it. And what I really wanted to talk about was that yearning that came up in the short. What are we yearning for? We're yearning for life as we knew it. We never go backwards, we go forwards. Even though time is in a continuous spiral, we still continue in that spiral with lessons and learning. And we are yearning for the new, we're yearning for the different. There's a soul call going out with all of us, you know. We've had three years of gunk, <laughs> to put it mildly. Three years of gunk and now we have been through it. It's been like an initiation. I used to think the beginning of the last three years was very much like being on retreat, um, isolated, thrown back on your own resources, thrown back on who you were and who you are. And once you've done retreat, you're never the same. But also once you've done initiation, you're not supposed to be the same. You're supposed to be someone else. You are now a warrior that has stepped through the barriers of fear and you're on the other side. So you now know what you're capable of in terms of courage. So what me and my guides would like to say is keep going. Don't be frightened. Don't fall for any scary stories. They're not real. This is There's a lot of illusion going on at the moment. There's a lot of illusory stuff. Um, not helped by Neptune drifting around the sky. You know, it's a, the planet of deceit and deception and dreaminess. You know, there's two sides to being dreamy. One is dreamy real. The other one is dreamy unreal. So what we'd like you to know is... It's going to be fine. It really is. It just sometimes we can get sucked into that dark hole, that wormhole of deep darkness. You know, don't go there. You don't need to go there. You don't need to watch stuff that talks about it. You don't need to read stuff that talks about it. And what I would say is if stuff's making you uncomfortable, just don't watch it. Don't read it. Don't watch it. You don't need it. It's not in your vibration. It's not in your energy field. It's working your solar plexus downwards. It's working on will and ancestry and root history of who we were. What we are looking now at is the heart chakra, the throat, the third eye, the crown, the universal, the divine, the spiritual. Keep going up, folks. Just keep raising your vibration. And if you're saying, Sue, how do you do that? Just be joy. You know, just let go of stuff that's ugly. Let go of ugly language, let go of ugly thoughts, let go of anger, let go of resentment. Because my goodness, you know, we've been working a washing machine churn of that stuff for the last couple of years. Let it go. Just be yourself. Listen to the bird song. Remember what you were like when you were two years old, you know, when you were tiny and you didn't have an awareness of the outer world. Work that energy of innocence again. And this spring, the planets are with us. You know, Pluto is leaving Capricorn. I know I keep saying this, but it, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, Pluto leaving Capricorn at the spring equinox. Huge deal. Massive in terms of it goes to the people now instead of the tyrannies and anything that's been dictatorial. That that structure that enabled the, 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 the power seizing, the grabs, the repressions, that structure's crumbled. It's almost like somebody's kicked all the bricks away. So be aware that we are so much more than we've ever been led to believe, that we are divine human beings. We are spirits having a human experience in these bodies. And don't be afraid. And lots of love, light and blessings. And if you like this, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.